In this video, I'll show you the new features in Filmora 11.6 and this is the August 2022 release, uh, the new features that are available. So I'm inside the Filmora interface and I'll just begin by dragging and dropping a video inside here. And this video uh, has some audio and we can just also drag now the subtitle for this. So just drag and drop it here. So for this, I'll detach the audio and then delete this particular audio file because the first feature we are looking at is called text to speech for SRT subtitle files. So you can now convert your SRT subtitle files into voice or a voiceover. So if you wanted to change your voice or maybe the subtitle or maybe the voiceover using the subtitle, it's pretty easy. So uh, you can click on this button when you've selected your subtitle because it's now active in previous versions. This was not the case. Or you can just right click and then click on text to speech. And once we do that, uh, the interface is going to load. Uh, and this is where you set the parameters and the selections for what you want. So uh, you can set the language, English, US, and then you can choose a name, Mark, Bob, Lucy, whoever is available for you to use. If you wanted a lady, uh, you can choose uh, whatever you want and then set the parameter settings and then you can just click OK once you're satisfied. This is going to start uploading this particular clip and uh, this is actually going to start processing your transcription into voice. So we just give it a couple of seconds and we now have some audio files here. So close this. Now the only thing I'm not so sure is why it's giving us two or uh, three audio files on different layers but let's play and listen. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. It's actually what this particular subtitle reads like. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Okay, not so sure why it's, it has to go to different layers, but you can now convert your SRT subtitle files into speech or voiceover in Filmora 11.6. Now. The next feature is that you can now import media from your cloud drives and you'll need to go to file, import media, and then import from other apps. And from this section, you can go to Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, import your media, work without having to re-download your files each and every time. So that's that, looks really awesome and a good update for the sake. Next up, we're going to just add some stock media. Let's say we add a downloaded footage of maybe some exercise here. Just drag and drop it here. And the next new feature we're going to add is a timer. So if we go to effects, you may see the timers on your side here, uh, somewhere here. But if you don't see them, you can just click on what's new and then type inside here, timer. Press on enter. And you'll see a pack of new timers. Uh, they are a good bunch of them. I believe they are over 30. And you can just scroll down and see what timer is going to actually work for the scenario that uh, you want. So let's say this is what works for me. I can just drag and drop it here. And once I do that, I'll customize its position and how it looks inside here by just double clicking on that particular timer. And once you do that, you're going to uh, open up the parameter section for this. You can change the position for the X and the Y. So we'll just uh, bring this down and then take this up to take this somewhere up there. Reduce the scale. Let's see something like that. And then we can just bring this up slightly and then to as the edge somewhere like there. there. That looks good. Uh, and then we can change the speed slightly to about a one. And then we can just move down slightly and you can see the number uh, in terms of second. It's defaulted at 10 seconds, but you can adjust it to up to 60. So if your clip or maybe this particular exercise is for 60 seconds, you can have this timer running and timers are good to show your viewers or your audience that this is almost done. And this, since this is a countdown, it shows your viewers it's almost done. You can change the text position, the text scale, but most importantly, you can also customize the theme uh, for this. So you can change the text color to whatever you want. The process ring, uh, the uh, process ring background color, the radio circle color. So you can change this 
maybe a red or maybe something a little bit brighter maybe like this i think that looks good and then you can change the color for this uh, to whatever you feel will work best for you so when you play this that's what it's going to look like looks really good so those are timers just click ok and you can just uh, add the timers and you can see some overlays here that you can still add uh, a recording overlay etc so you can it's up to you to use your imagination to see how you're actually going to use these different parameters finally we now have RGB color curves uh, in Filmora and we can just come to stock media and let's assume we just look for any form of media that we want here. Let's say, uh, actually, let's just go with this. So we've got this uh, clip of this lady doing some exercises, but let's assume we wanted to change. Maybe uh, we think that we might need to adjust some uh, colors here. You can just right click to open the color correction interface or press on control shift C click on that and once we do that uh, we're going to come into the uh, dialog box for advanced color correction we've got presets but what we're interested in is the adjust option you can click on that and slightly here if this is not checked you'll see there's a new option called curve you can check on that and then scroll down slightly and you see a couple of op options here we've got the Y and this is more or less like the master or the Luma and then we've got the R for red g for green b for blue and then we've got a color picker the option to lead it and the option to reset now uh, you can adjust this by adding some points here if i click on this you'll add some point there if i click on this you'll add some points there if you move this slightly up to this section you're going to be adding some highlights to this but if you move this uh, to the down sections here you're going to be changing the shadows and all that and you can also preview the befores and after and if i click on this eye click and hold you're going to see the original if i let go you're going to see what we've done changes to so let's delete this let's also actually reset this this is the original let's go to the r when you move this particular line or the curve to uh, this side if i click on this and move this then you're going to be making this particular uh, selection red if you bring it down it's going to be more or less like a bluish color of sorts let's reset that let's go to the greens if you move it to this side it gets your footage uh, to be more green if you bring it to this side it looks more or less like a purple color let's reset then if you click on blue and uh, bring it up it's going to give you a blue uh, a hue or whatever and then bring it down more or less like a yellowish color so it's up to you to see how you can actually use this so we can maybe do some slight adjustments here to increase maybe the contrast and the brightness and that's why the rgb uh, color curves are being used maybe add something else here uh looks a little bit looks little uh looks good uh that looks good depends on what you're looking for you can change just one option there or actually all of them maybe we add something else here uh, that looks good as well you can decide to add something else here to change the whole look and feel so what we can do now is there is an a b comparison tab here if i click on this you can compare the before and after itself to disable comparison but we can click a side by side view and if i click on that this is the original this is what we have looks good uh we can just check it from a left and right this is what they look like then we can check out the split view top bottom this is what they look like but this probably might be what you might want to see uh, and i think it looks good uh, from my own perspective and once you do that you can see both uh, of them go up and down up and down if you'd like to reuse this particular preset that you just created click on save as custom and then title it whatever rgb sample click ok and that's going to be saved and then you can click ok but if you'd like to reset you can also click on reset all to reset all the parameters you've set here just click on ok so there is our clip that's how it looks like after the color correction using rgb color curves and i believe that's the end of this video because we've looked at the four new features 
in Filmora 11.6, the August 2022 update, where we have support for text-to-speech for SRT subtitles. You can now import uh, from uh, uh, cloud drives like Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox. And then we have new timers to spice up your videos, show people how long a video is going to be. And then finally, we've got the RGB color curves to uh, boost or color correct your video clips or make your videos look a particular way, the way you want. It's that simple. And thank you so much for watching this video. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.